disappointing. Uh, people who live in the Okanagan and really care about fish and wildlife and the health of Okanagan Lake, I mean, what we're seeing is years of effort and millions of dollars essentially being left high and dry in a matter of a year. It looks to be a major loss to kokanee numbers this year after the spring drawdown at Okanagan Lake impacted the fish fry. Uh, everybody was excited because it looked like the lake was finally starting to turn the corner. And then this spring, what ended up happening is we dropped the water levels way too early and ended up drying up a bunch of these eggs from these shore spawning kokanee. In the study area where they went and looked, it looked like they lost about 75% of the eggs. Uh, we drew the lake down you know, over the late winter and early spring. Um, because at the time we had a, a, a higher than normal snowpack. I mean, obviously conditions are, are very different now and in hindsight sort of 2020 that way. But um, at the time, our guidelines were telling us that we should be drawing the lake down. BC Wildlife Federation is calling for a change in how lake levels are managed, stating that the predictive model was flawed and left too many out of water. Our system and our, our mechanism for managing water and our funding mechanism is not adequate to take care of the Okanagan Lake. That's the reality of it. And this only gets worse with climate change. So if the province doesn't come forward and start investing in the sustainability of our watersheds, floods and fires are the new normal. However, the fish management tool has been developed to balance Okanagan Lake drawdown with environmental values and fish numbers, with the ministry stating that they continue to make improvements on how it works. Um, but we're always, you know, we're always balancing things, you know, we draw down the lake a little bit earlier uh, in anticipation of potential flooding. Well, one of the reasons we do that um, that may impact shore spawn and kokanee is that if we waited later and then we had to have higher flows through Penticton Dam um, to draw down the lake, you know, uh, a little bit later, um, then our flows in the Okanagan River may impact um, sockeye eggs. So again, it's a real balancing act, and it's not even just a balancing act between, uh, you know, potentially flooding and fish or drought and fish. Sometimes it's fish and fish that we're, we're trying to balance the uh, and mitigate the impacts between those. Zeman stated that the long-term solution in the future may involve moving homes and buildings away from the shoreline. For Castanet News, I'm Casey Richardson.